IHS, advancing decisions that advance the world. The Italian government's been forced to abandon plans to reintroduce nuclear power into the generation mix uh, following a, a referendum on the issue in which the populace returned a resounding no vote. Uh, although this came in the wake of the Fukushima disaster, nuclear power has also always been quite a controversial issue in Italy. And although it's possible that another administration may in the future reintroduce the issue, for the time being nuclear power has been kicked into the long grass. Italy's already chaotic energy policy has been thrown into even more confusion in the aftermath of this. Uh, with the introduction of the Large Combustion Plant Directive and the Industrial Emissions Directive, coal is going to be phased out quite substantially from the Italian generation mix. Now, nuclear had been earmarked to replace that generation capacity, but with that, in the aftermath of this result, that's not going to happen. So the government's looking to either more gas uh, carbon capture and storage through coal or possibly more renewables. As part of the 2020-20 objectives within the European Union, Italy's already made quite stringent commitments to reduce its carbon emissions from the power sector, which basically means that they can't rely significantly on coal, or at least conventional fired. That might explain the recent decision to um, allow the development of a carbon capture and storage plant at Porto Toll, the, re the permit for which had recently been revoked. The government is going to allow a certain increase in more gas-fired capacity. However, they're reluctant to see this increase substantially more for two reasons. First of all, it's going to push the price of electricity up even further. And secondly, it implies import dependence on countries like Russia and Libya. The Italian government is placing a lot of faith uh, in the supply from renewable energy, mainly solar and wind. Part of that's going to be generated domestically, and part of it will be imported through a subsea uh, connection with um, Serbia. Uh, however, there's a lot of confusion within the industry concerning the financial support which renewable energy is going to receive. The government is keen to reduce the actual financial support uh, available, because, partly because of the costs, um, but also because the grid is unable to uh, handle so, such uh, large volumes of solar and wind uh, being added on such a, a f fast basis. Um, however, their attempts to reduce financial support have um, been marked by a lot of U-turns and confusion, the practical upshot of which is that the industry has effectively ground to the halt for the past three months. Although Italy's ruled out nuclear power for the uh, foreseeable future, it's worth noting that the country will continue to import nuclear-generated uh, energy from places like France and for a short time Switzerland too, which gives rise to an interesting possible conclusion in the long run for Europe, which is that we might see a two-tier process developing whereby certain countries, most importantly Italy and Germany, phase out nuclear power or do not develop new facilities, but their neighbouring countries will be that much more incentivised to develop new nuclear facilities in order to import or export into those very lucrative markets. IHS, advancing decisions that advance the world.